I'm converting this cargo trailer into a camper, and I need a dinette. So I'm framing in seats with furring strips. An alternative here would be building the seats more like cabinets out of plywood, but I want to go for a different look, something that's a bit more like a cabin, and plywood wasn't really going to cut it. To assemble the frame, I'm using glue and screws. You could probably get away with nails and not even add glue if you wanted to, but I just trust the pull strength of a screw and then also adding the glue much better than just nails. So this seems plenty strong, just driving a single screw in each joint. With the frame assembled, I was now ready to add some seat panels. I'm just making my panels out of some particle board. I forgot I also need to add supports. So I'm just cutting down a 1x4 in little 1 inch strips and the one inch strip plus the half inch particle board should be flush perfect with the furring strips. I'm just gluing and screwing these in place as well. One last step is adding a finger hole so that we can take these out once they're installed. Now I have to add face frames to help trim this out. I'm adding one to the side and the front. We only have to cover two sides here because the backs and then one side of each seat is gonna be against walls. I'm using pocket screws to help hold the face frame together before attaching it to the frame. To attach the frame, I'm just gluing and clamping it on because I did not want to see any visible fasteners, either screws or pin nails. To cover up the holes, I'm making my own tongue and groove planks. I'm splitting a three quarter inch board in half, planing it down to a quarter inch, and then I'm adding a quarter inch tall groove on one side of the plank, and then I'm cutting a tongue that's three eighths inch long. This gives a nice little gap, kind of a decorative feature. All of the planks sit behind the face frame, so they don't have to be perfect cuts. So I'm just getting them close enough to the right size and just sticking them all together first in one piece, just so I have all of the tongue and grooves lined up. And all I'm doing then is gluing and pin nailing in place. Gluing was a little risky here. I wasn't sure if that could potentially cause problems later with expansion, but I figured it's okay for such a small area. With the lower two sides covered, I now had to cover up the back. Now if the dinette is permanent, the back cushion would actually cover that up, but this is for a camper and I want to make it so it can convert to a bed. So the planks on the back are there 
So if you convert it to a bed, it still looks okay. So I'm following the same process just to glue and nail in all of the planks. This also requires a cap, just having the same width as the face frame piece that goes all the way up to the top and going over to the side. Just nice and easy. I also cut a small groove just to make it easier to fit with the planks I already have there. And with that, our dinette seats are completely built. So now it was time to finish. I used three coats of Danish oil. I still have to make the cushions, but I might make another video in the future on that. But now, at least I can wait for this finish to dry and then install them in my camper.